brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning, something that you love to do, Cancer, that are going to make your wishes come true. Hey there, Cancer. How are you? It's your Forest Fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, it's time for a monthly read, and I've got a new Oracle deck. I think moving forward with every month, I'm going to change out the Oracle deck. So I am working now with the, I keep forgetting, it's called the Sacred Geometry Oracle deck. So let's get one Oracle card for, the, for my cachet of Cancers. The sign of cancer and all cancer placements wherever you have cancer in your chart and we'll get one oracle card to sort of set the tone for the read so what does cancer need to know give me one card for cancer mm, right there magic Ooh, cancer ooh, 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 i love this one magic you are magic, Cancer. You really are. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. Oh, so step into that imagination station, Cancer. All that is required is our belief in the manifestation. That's all that's required is belief. What do you truly believe, Cancer? What do you truly believe? Do you believe your magic? Oh, I believe in magic, I'll tell you that. Bottom of the deck, fertility. F the frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. That's your magic, Cancer. The expression of yourselves and grander than what you could have ever imagined. Oh, it's time to, to think big, Cancer. It really is. With think and I don't know. Again, I'm learning a lot about astrology. So I think right now, I know that Saturn is in Pisces and I'm pretty sure Neptune is still there. And for me, Neptune is, it for me, it sits in the first house in Sagittarius. So it's my imagination station. It's whatever, you know, life gets a little mundane or repetitive or you know you, you do the same thing you have your routines that's when i can sometimes be caught sitting in a chair or outside or and just or sitting inside by the fire and looking outside and that's where i go to my imagination station and just imagine and i imagine not just um abundance and wealth for myself but for everyone around me Cancer, what are you imagining? Let's find out. Knight of Cups, isn't this? This is my creative night. Oh yes, Cancer. You're taking the steps, the actions to create. And you're waking up to your creation. You're waking up to your magic is what I'm hearing, your higher self. That's the energy that crosses you. That's what helps or hinders you. I'm getting ahead of myself. Your higher self is that you're independent, you're financially independent, and I really feel that whatever you need, you can manifest, and you know this. The, your focus and foundation is ending something, the darkest before the dawn. It is the darkest before the dawn. But the dawn in the traditional Rider Waite Smith uh, card of the Ten of Swords, you see the sun coming up. Ooh. In the past, you were stuck in an ending. I'm really putting these two together and the future you're resting your mind you've gone from the eight to the four beautiful you're taking a rest you're really resting the inner thoughts because you know what you think about you bring about so you know that what you think that's what you're going to manifest and if you're coming to this realization with this judgment card this is when you calm the mind you quiet it and you also begin to see and notice and observe how you talk to yourself. How you see yourself is the five of pentacles. There's a struggle here. 
It could be on the financial front. And yet your higher self is saying, no, Cancer, you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're living in luxury right now as we speak. How other people see you is the Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true. Now, if you haven't seen the Nine of Pentacles come into, other people see you making these wishes, making these, taking these steps. Again, when I work in the back, in the back room, um, my reads are nine card spreads and they're thoughts, feelings, actions. And that's kind of a manifestation spread where what you think, what what is it that you're thinking about? What is it that you're feeling? And then what actions are you going to take? Because there's the law of attraction, but there's also, you have to take action to, to bring down, to put the work in. And this is what the earth signs really do know. And so you're a water sign, so you feel. So what is it that you believe? I'm questioning you, Cancer. What is it that you believe? Do you believe that you're magic? Do you believe in magic? Do you believe that you can, um, I'm gonna say dimension jump. I don't know why that just came to mind, but you're a multi-dimensional being. Are you believing in this fact? This is a fact. Hope and fear. Page of Pentacles. Oh, I'm loving this. This is a hope. This is the trust in your manifestation. This is the beginning of bringing things down. And this is a very youthful and young and um, some might say the pages are immature. I don't. I think they are learning. Again, you can get some childish behaviors out of pages. They are children. But that's the beginning of manifestation for us adults to get back into that childlike sense of wonder and delight and believe in magic. Remember when you believed in, um, for all you, I was going to say in fairies, I've always believed in fairies and people would say, no, nah, fairies don't exist. And I kind of go, well, I think I believe in the, I've seen them. Oh, those are just bugs. Yeah. Okay. I've seen them in my gardens when I work in, in, and they kind of get a little worried. Oh no, I'm just pulling the weeds. I'm not, I'm not disturbing the flowers in here because there's all sorts of fairies, flower fairies, water fairies. Ooh, I love the water fairies. Um, forest fairies, right? My, my channel is named after the forest fairies that I live among, that I live among me, among us, my kids among us. Um, and the last card out, the potential outcome is the page of swords, beautiful. I've got some pages on the table and that's what I like to see when it comes to manifestation. This is what you think, the page of swords. This is also for me as a reader, internet, um, information, research, um, content. And then your hope and or fear is that trust in your manifestations, that which you might not see and underneath the deck, cancer. Is the five of swords this is a real determination card and i also have to say just know that um win or lose i as as the kids grew up the word loser was had a had a bad or a sort of negative connotation to it so when we played games and stuff i would say champion and challenger are you the challenger not are you the loser are you the challenger or are you the champion? Well, if you won the game, you're the champion, aren't you? So then if you want to play again, you challenge. So I take a look at this win or lose, the W's and L's. I kind of look at the L's as lessons. Not have at, at you if something didn't work out. Let's say you started, I don't know, an online little Etsy shop or something. Or you started a, a, a store or a, a, a service, a blog or something. And you're not getting the traffic, you're not getting the attention, and um, you feel that it's a loss. It's a waste of your time, and you're not going to continue on with it, but it's a loss. What did you learn from that? I, t I tend to teach the kids now that the L's are lessons. A loss is a lesson. So it's W's and L's still, but they're lessons rather than losses. And sometimes, I tell them that sometimes your guardian angels um, create these losses. A, so you learn a lesson, and B, so you go in a different direction, right? So, well, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. This is the Knight of Creation. I, this is the creative night for me. I absolutely love this night. There you are, first card out, Cancer. You are moving forward with your creativity. You believe in it. I know you believe in it. I know you're finally seeing it, Cancer. Yeah. Let's do this. You are emotionally 
leaving. You're emotionally leaving that which you have outgrown that um, doesn't align with you. And it could be these thoughts of being stuck, of being held back, of being um, in an L position rather than looking at them as lessons. You're looking at losses and how many losses. Right? And you're emotionally, and these cups are things that as, as a cancer, you've put into your, your emotions into and you're walking away from them. This is beautiful. The nine of pentacles in your higher self, the truth, the truth is, and your higher self wants you to know that the truth is you are an independent, sovereign soul. Absolutely. And you are going to find your people, your soul tribe, your group. The three of cups, this is a beautiful friendship group. And you might have felt with an older friendship, you know what, I'm going to put the cups above the cups and because I really feel you're walking away for some of you, you're walking away from an old friendship group that really um, was a part of this eight of swords, making you feel stuck, making you feel that you're, you're not um, succeeding, that you're not successful, that you, why are you going doing this? Why are you trying that? Cancer. Um, so if there's a friend group, whether it be uh, even co-workers, neighbors. Why would you do that? Why would you go there? Why would you take a vacation there? All, all these naysayers. I'm just going to call them naysayers. Um, you're walking away from them and you're moving forward. And with this trust, this is victorious. You're victori vic <laughs> I keep wanting to say victorious. Um, you have are, are moving forward with the cherry card and it takes trust to put your i'm going to say your trust in the god your trust in the divine okay and you are moving away from all those emotional losses even those that you cannot see and it could be influenced from a friend group but i think the truth is that you are an independent with or without a friend group you're still going to move forward and you're still going to create and produce whatever it is that you guys are doing out there cancer but that's that's the key, is that you keep trying, you keep producing, you keep, um, and especially when things are changing now in such a dramatic way, why not try, right? If you're financially independent, able to do so, even if you're not there, if you see yourself as struggling, you know that you will struggle. Your higher self is saying, think of that nine of pentacles. That's the truth. Think of others, hang out. They say, if you wanna be a millionaire, hang out with millionaires, right? Um, hang out with people that are positive, that are loving, that are creative, that are innovative. Industry innovators. That's what cancer is. Ten of Swords. What's ending? Your focus on foundation. Ooh. Four of Swords. With that ending, you're moving forward with a clear head, with a quiet mind, and the Queen of Swords. This is the magical queen. She's looking right at the, the ending, a closing out of something and the beginning of something new. She knows her magic. She knows how to manifest and she knows it begins with her thoughts. So to clear out the negative thinking of the Eight of Swords, we have the Four of Swords twice right here. So let's go. How have you been mentally stuck, Cancer? Yeah, there's something coming to an end. With, you're transforming with, with the um, death card being here. It's the death of the way you think. It's the death of an old way of thinking, an old program. Yes. And the Six of Cups, this is Scorpio energy. Both cards have a Scorpionic energy. So where's Scorpio in your chart? Are you reconnecting or connecting with a Scorpio energy? Um, the Scorpio energy reminds you to be kind to yourself, to speak softly to yourself, to be loving to yourself. <clears throat> and if you haven't, if your thoughts have been that of over criticism or um, negative narratives, observe what you're consuming, what you're watching, what you're listening to, what type of music, what type of, let's say, podcasts or content, um, what type of television shows and movies, what are you watching? And is this keeping you stuck? Is it apocalyptic? Is it the world is ending? Or is it that the world is um, is changing? Like there is, especially with this Scorpio card, with the death card, there is change among us. I keep saying among us. <laughs> there is change upon us. And um, with that change, you can look at it as a loss oh, or a win. 
oh, how are you looking at the changes that are going on through your country, wherever country, your government, your policies, your laws, your, what, what is change? How are you adapting to these changes? Are you going with the flow? Are you feeling the loss and the struggle? Whether it be the, the um, high income taxes here in Canada, it's almost 50%. That's unbelievable. Other people look at this country and go, why are you living there? It's cold, miserable, and they tax you 46%. Yeah. So wherever you're from, wherever you live, take a look at things from a positive perspective. Change that mindset. And that's of the past. In the future, you are. You have the four swords twice. Clarified, ooh, by the king of pentacles. This is Taurus energy. Taurus sticks with a plan and executes it, implements it, and completes it. Taurus completes. Whatever ideas you have, what, how you're moving forward, this is knowing your worth as well. Taking a look at how you've been too hard on yourself, Cancer. And the queen of swords. Oh, I love this energy. This is the softer side of the air element. The queen knows of heartache. The queen, this is Libra energy, and the queen knows of what's fair, what's right. Um, this queen speaks of truth, integrity. This queen speaks of what's right and just. And so you have to really take a look at how you've been talking to yourself, Cancer. I'm really picking that up today, that you need to take a look a real look at how you have been talking to yourself and if it's been fair. Have you been too hard on yourself? What is your worth? How do you see yourself? Do you see your worth? With the Five of Pentacles, you might not. Let's see. King of Wands. Leo energy. We got some fixed energy up in here with Scorpio with the Death card. The King of Pentacles, that's Taurus energy. And the King of Wands, that's Leo energy. And the Six of Swords, beautiful. This is you taking action to move away from the loss, the Five of Pentacles struggle, and making plans as the Queen. She makes plans to move forward. And that's exactly what, after a restful period, that's exactly what you are planning to do. Beautiful, Put, move away, beautiful. Move away from the darkness and into the light, into new opportunities. Other people see you as your wishes coming true with that Nine of Cups. Look at that. That's exactly the wand, the magic wand that both the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And here it is, a brand new beginning, a brand new passionate beginning, something that you love to do, Cancer, that are going to make your wishes come true. We have two aces on the table, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there is an ending. There is an ending. I feel that this Ace of Wands is taking action to make your dreams come true, and it's through your magic, Cancer. It's through your magic. You are the cardinal of the water signs. The cardinals. The cardinals get, get things up and moving, get things going. They come up with, with concepts that other people would downplay and go, that's a dumb idea, and then meanwhile, they're stealing it from them, right? It's because cardinals have no fear regarding what other people think. I know, I got quite a few cardinal <laughs> placements in my chart. Six of them to be, to be uh, exact. Page of Pentacles is your hope and your fear. I really see you, other people see you. If other people see your worth, if other people see your magic, if other people see you um, having a, a successful ending and a brand new beginning, it's, it's interesting how you see yourself as struggling. What are you struggling with, Cancer? Page of Pentacles, I think you're struggling with the belief that you are a manifester, that you are to trust in your manifestations. The Seven of Wands. Now, do you see, and I've said this with this card before, there's that wand right there, and you're holding up the wands of others. It's almost like you believe in others' magic, but not yourself. And that's what the page wants you to learn wants you to learn that you are, in fact, a magician. You are, in fact, the priest, the high priestess. And with that, you have to trust and believe 
in your own magic. And it starts in the mind, which is where the Queen of Swords comes into play, because the Queen of Swords is cleaning up the mind and really being gentle and kind, having kind thoughts, having kind ideas about who you are, about your worth. Cancer, you're going back and forth. You see that? Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, you could have quite a few projects on the go, but I think this is belief. This is belief in your magic. And so the Page of Pentacles wants you to trust in your magic. Okay, Page of Swords. Last card, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. You're gonna make a lot of money online, I'll tell you. Look at that. <laughs> Justice. Yep. When you are kind to yourself, when you rest the mind, and you see, and you balance out head and heart, you balance out the polarities, the negative and the, the, the positive, when you balance that all out, and you learn how to do it with the Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Swords is of the mind, the Page of Pentacles is that practical application. This is when the Ten of Pentacles, this is in the near future, this is the potential outcome. And when you are fair and true and just and live a life of integrity, Cancer, the Ten of Pentacles is literally going to fall into your lap. And that which you might not see. The five, And clarifying, the Five of Swords is that Page of Pentacles, which we go back up here. And do not, do not juggle between belief and disbelief. Do not juggle between I can and can't. Look at every loss as a lesson. Cancer. That's what I see. Let's get some angel numbers on this. Five, eight, nine. Let's do five, eight, nine. Your recent experiences have been powerful teachers and reminders that you are more in touch with yourself than you have previously given yourself credit for. Yes, self-care is essential at this time. Four swords twice. Absolutely. I see five, nine, four. Let's do five, nine, four. Four, right there, your angels are opening your crown chakra so that you can receive divine guidance. Soul memories are being uncovered. That's your magic. Cancer, that's your magic. I see nine, five, eight. Last one, nine, five, eight. You are surrounded by supreme protection and are being encouraged to know that you are safe even if things get bumpy. There may be some turbulence at this time with the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and did we have another five? No, nope, just the two of them. Yeah, so you're going through a couple of fives there, Cancer, and this message is saying, don't worry. Do not worry. What did I, I just lost? Five, um, nine, five, eight, sorry. I just lost it. <laughs> 958, let's read this again. You are surrounded by supreme protection and are being encouraged to know that you are safe even if things get bumpy through the fives, yes. There may be some turbulence at this time, but soon everything will be smooth once more and you will move forward. That fat cherry card, first card out was you. You wanted to speak today, Cancer, and this is what I see for you, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.